Hello, everyone. Welcome to English 1102. Congratulations. You have won the freaking lottery. Okay, because I am Mr. Byers, and you have gotten into my class, which is just great for you. Okay, I think that uh, hopefully you will really enjoy your time in this class. Uh, my goal is to make it uh, enjoyable, uh, and not just enjoyable because of, you know, my personality and charming good looks. I mean, look at this, all right? I'm in my 40s, and I don't even have to dye my hair, okay? This is, uh, this is all natural Auburn, okay? Uh, so that really adds to, I think, uh, my charisma. Uh, which will then hopefully make you enjoy this course just even more. Um, let's see. I've taught this class for, uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've taught college for 15 years. I've, I, I currently teach high school uh, as well. I've been teaching high school for 16 years. And uh, I've been doing this for GTC since... Uh, for about five years, I've worked for uh, Gornet Tech. Um, this course, uh, I try to change things up. Uh, if uh, <laughs> in the case any of you took this class last year uh, and then uh, you found yourself in an unsuccessful situation and now you're here again, the course is different. Uh, I like to make uh, you know changes because I get bored doing the same things over and over again. And this way, we all kind of uh, have kind of like, like a new experience. Okay, so um, each week I will post a lecture. Uh, I will post a time in which you can join live if you want while I'm recording the lecture. It generally will be on. Uh, either Monday or Tuesday, definitely by Tuesday, I'll ha be having the live lectures. And um, if you can't tune in, that's fine. The only reason you would need to tune in if you wanted to tune in while I'm doing it live is to ask questions, which you are totally welcome to do. Um, if you have no interest in tuning in live at 830 on a Monday or Tuesday, then you can just wait for the recorded lecture to be posted and I will send it out and you can watch it, okay? Uh, but these lectures that I do are 100% required to be watched. Uh, now, the irony of this is that you watching this, you're already doing it. Uh, and so generally it's the people who are not watching these who need to hear that it's required to watch these, okay? But let's just say this is your first one watching because it is their first time. Uh, note that this is not an anomaly. This will be a continual thing. Every week we'll have lectures and every week you need to watch them. I am, for the first time all year, under the weather. The weather is here and I'm right here. So um, I will be sipping my tea which actually i'm saying this as if i won't be drinking coffee or tea through every lecture which i guarantee you i will be drinking coffee and tea in every lecture even when i'm not under the weather so i don't know why i decided to go ahead and act as if the only reason i'm doing this is because i'm sick that's not true what a liar uh i will always be drinking stuff during class uh because i do that in my daily life and just in general uh Mmm, this is some vanilla chai. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's very good. Oh, you look, you can see it right there. Vanilla chai. It's quite tasty. Mm -hmm. Every night I like to have just regular chai, decaf, before I go to bed. Oh, it's so nice. I put on my nightcap and I drink, 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 and I go to sleep, and it's so nice. Okay, so this is the class. Uh, you'll watch the lectures, and then in the lectures, uh, as you'll see in a moment, I go over everything. This class is not a mystery at all. It, I am very clear. I am 
I am as translucent as my skin. Look how white this skin is. Oh my God. It's I'm like Casper, the friendly ghost. I'm gonna get a haircut soon. I mean, this this forehead, you could you could show a movie on this forehead right here. Um, so, anyways, um, this class is very clear, it's very translucent. I uh will tell you exactly what you need to do to do well in this class. Um, I, I do not make it a mystery. I do not require you to be a mind reader. I do not speak in riddles or parables. Uh, I'm not a prophet. Uh, I just tell it like it is. I tell you, I go over the assignments. I'm very repetitive. Um, this class really is uh, the one main thing you need to know to do well in the class. Uh, the only skill you have to eventually be able to do is write a well-formatted uh, college level essay and everything we do is repetitive of that um, and so I will be very clear I will demonstrate for you what I'm expecting um, I will then go over grade assignments um, e examples to show like what I was looking for um, especially the essays uh, I will provide templates I'll provide um, samples so you can emulate those okay uh, and I'm and every essay is essentially graded the same way. Uh, you have multiple opportunities to sh to demonstrate mastery. And it's very clear what I expect. Um, and um, and I think that if you took eleven oh one and you paid attention, you'll do well in eleven oh two as well. Okay. So let's get into this. Um, let me share a, my a screen. Yeah, just the screen in general. Which screen am I sharing? No, not, not that screen. Hold on. Let me share the right screen. Yeah, screen two. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So this is the class right here. Uh, this is um, when you log in, what you see, you'll see the announcements. Always read the announcements first. Uh, the analysis will tell, will will hear the, the I'll post I'll, I'll post it the um the lecture if I feel like I can't get the lecture on time I'll post you know some notes about what you need to do some instructions on like what you need to do for the, for this week and then eventually I'll post the lecture I try to post the lecture uh, Mondays or Tuesdays but you know sometimes life happens sometimes let's say we have a holiday on a Monday and then something crazy happens on Tuesday and I just can't get done till Wednesday you know it is what it is. So um, come here first to the announcements, all right? Then right here, we have lessons. Lessons. This is where every week is divided up to what we're doing. Every week, every week, whatever week we're in, this stuff is here. Some of this stuff is pre-filled in. Some of it I'll be building as we go. Like, uh, for example, week one, has all the stuff in it, obviously, because that's this week it sh as it should. But like week three, okay, it has an assignment made. Uh, anything else that I might be think that's important for week three, I'll drop into week three. Um, week, you know, just randomly select week eight. There's nothing there. Okay. So um, this class is, this class is not really designed for you to, move ahead faster because I have weekly lecture points that I'm making things I'm going to discuss. Okay. Um, and anything I say in the lectures uh, should be listened, heard and applied. And so uh, if you try to complete an assignment early, but then in the lecture for that week, I talk about something specific about that assignment or something I want you to do, and you don't do that thing in the assignment, then you could lose points, okay? So um, I am, while you do not have a set schedule of, of requiring you to read on certain days, to listen on certain days, and to work on certain days, it is, though, I do um, uh, tailor this course to uh, fit the output of information I'm giving you, which is dictated by the lectures for each week, okay? 
So, uh, you know, you can be in control of your schedule by getting all your work done at the very beginning of the week and then having the rest of the week free. OK, but like you won't be able to complete this course uh, in like six weeks and be done with it because there are things that I will be discussing in seven, eight, nine, ten that uh, you will ha be that you will have to hear and participate in. OK, so that's just kind of the way it is. Um, so uh, the first thing you should do, the thing that you should always be referring back to is this right here. List of assignments and due dates. OK, this is an absolutely necessary. This is the the spine, the, the backbone, the heartbeat of the course. This document right here. OK. I, this is the document that I have, that I go by, I created. This is the entire outline for the class. This has everything in it so that you know exactly what we're doing every single week of the course, okay? And all the assignments and everything. Um, you know, 1101, 1102, there is, uh, essentially, there's like a skeleton course that's created by the school where... Um, any teacher could just come on board and begin teaching the class right away based upon the skeleton class that the school has designed. But like each instructor, we have the freedom to go in and change the class as much as we want to, as long as our main um, required papers are, are essentially still the same. We still have three essays. So like, that's what I do. I go in and I change everything. Um, now, but because I change things, sometimes there are existing random um, uh, notifications about these assignments that are in maybe, let's say, the uh, the school calendar, which I have hidden the virtual classroom uh, calendar, so that way you don't even see it. But for some reason, if you do, I want you to ignore it. Uh, I want you to ignore any notifications, anything that you might randomly come across that that talks about some sort of assignment that is not listed on this sheet. Okay, this is the only bit a piece of reference that you should be focused on. If you have a friend who's in a different 1102 class and they're talking about a different assignment, if it's not on this document, then I don't want you to even think about it or care about it or worry about it or ask me about it. OK, if you ask me about a certain assignment or date or whatever, uh, I'm going to say, well, is that on the list of assignments and due dates that I've given you? OK, and if it's there, then you need to do it. If it's not there, then then you don't worry about it. We only worry about anything that's on this document. OK, so please, I would I have a printed off copy of it and a digital copy of it. So. On this document, I have the week. So like the week numbers, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. That corresponds to these right here, the folders. Um, then we have the lecture topics, things I'm, I'm going to discuss. Like right now I'm talking about schedule and it's 8.45. I need to hurry up because I, I need to be done with this in like 25 minutes. Um, and so I want to talk about all these things today. All right. Um, and then it tells you the assignments and readings to complete. Bolded, these are your assignments. You have, for this course, we have three formal essays um, and 11 classwork assignment, classroom assignments. 11 of them. Assignment 11. Okay. Oh, assignment 11 is just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's your outline. Okay. So... Um, these are the things that, well, I guess that right there should be bolded actually. All the bolded stuff are things that, uh, that you will be turning in. Okay. So you can keep track of all those things. So like, it's so like this week, all of this stuff needs to be done this week. You're going to watch the lecture, which you're currently doing right now. You're going to complete assignment one, the welcome quiz, which I'm going to show you where that is. You're going to complete assignment two, the MLA quiz, which I'm going to show you where that is. Um, uh, assignment three, finding sources assignment. I'm going to show you that. <laughs> okay. 
And then this week in the textbook that you should have either a digital copy or a hard copy. Like I have a hard copy that, which is my hard copies right here. Okay. Uh, you are reading what is literature and then strategies for arguing about literature. And then you're going to be doing some research on an independent novel that you're going to read, which I'll go over in a moment anyways. Okay. And all this stuff. So these three assignments are due. This is 1159. That's, I, I don't care. This is due. You should get this done by the 15th. Okay. Get it turned in before uh, the beginning of the day on Monday. Okay. Uh, I do not look at times in which things are submitted. All I care about is that assignments are submitted by the time I grade them. And the earliest that I'm going to grade these assignments will be Monday the 15th. Okay. Uh, and I don't start grading until like, if I do until like 8.30 a.m. So as long as these assignments are, do, are, are submitted by Monday the 15th, 8.30 a.m., you should be safe. Okay. So. There you go. That's what we're doing this week. Every week, you know what to expect by looking at what's uh, by by look by following this sheet. Okay, so that's really, 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 really important. Okay. The next thing that's super important is the MLA template. Okay, this uh, one of the things you have to master. If you didn't master 1101, you got to master 1102. This college really cares about this. Is the MLA template that, like all the assignments that you turn in, are submitted in documents that are uh, organized like this. Okay. Um, and so, what I would do is for every single assignment that you have, all 11 assignments and all three papers, I would download this sheet. Okay. I would uh, go and fill the, you know, fill this in. Uh, last name, all capitals. Um, Byers. Oh wait, no, no. Let, me, let me do my fake name. Um, Thomas. Where's my mouse? Uh, first and last name. Elliot Thomas. Instructor's name. I am not a doctor. I don't have a doctorate. I went to graduate school, got a master's, and then I've been teaching and working ever since, and I never went back. So I am not Dr. Byers. I am Mr. Byers. Uh, you can call me, uh, I mean, I have a master's, but Master Byers just sounds terrible. So uh, Mr. Byers. Last name. English 1102. Okay. Due date. So let's say this is like for your first assignment, uh, assignment one. This the, the due date uh, that you'll be turning submitting this is is on the fifteenth. Uh, okay, so due date will be fifteen January twenty twenty four. Title of assignment. Uh, this is going to be. Let's just say we're doing this for. Let's see. Uh, Finding source assignment three, finding sources assignment. This is um, these two are online. You, I mean, these things are things you'll submit digitally. So assignment three is the first one that you're going to be typing. Oops. So like, I would center this. All right. So like, for the MLA template, I would I would do this, and then I would I would save as. I would save it as assignment three, finding sources. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I need, I need to get rid of this colon here. For every assignment that you are having to type, you need to turn it in on one of these kind of things. Oh, but this is not. This should not be bolded. No bold. Okay. Titles are never bolded. So now it's like improper MLA formatting. MLA formatting is something you absolutely have to do. In this class, every single assignment that you submit on a, on a Word document has to be in proper MLA formatting. You got to do it. OK, so I provide the template for you. So that way, every assignment, you can just open the template and fill out the information here, put the right a title in and then do your work. OK, every time you start an assignment, whether it's week one or week eight or week nine or week 16, 
You can download the template again and fill it in. All right. This is it's the surefire way to be able to make sure that you don't lose points because you will lose points on every single assignment if it's turned in uh, on a Word document that's not properly formatted. That's one of the major requirements for this course. Okay. All right. Week one. So here's week one. And I mean, and, and like, this is why this is not in the week one folder. And this is not in the week one folder because these apply, these two things apply every single week. Every week, we should be looking at the list of assignments and due dates. And every week that we have an assignment to complete, it should be done on it, on the MLA template. Okay. So week one, here we have the syllabus. Okay. Uh, this is, part one talks about uh, what you're doing in this class. And I'm just going to tell you, the point of this class is to be able to uh, make sure you've mastered the ability to write an essay in proper MLA formatting and to use outside sources and quotes that are properly integrated into your work. That's it. Okay. That's what we're doing in this class. We are reading stuff and then writing essays about it and using quotes correctly. Because that's what you, you'll be doing all throughout your college courses. Now, additional buyer's policies, stuff that you should read and you should know, okay? We're kind of running out of time. I got about 15 minutes. Um, so this has my email address, okay? Make sure that you know that. Uh, you should you should read all this, okay? I'm not gonna go over right now. I, I have my AI policy. You need to make sure you read this. Read the AI policy. Go over all, make sure you clearly understand this, all right? Textbook, you gotta have a textbook. We don't provide the textbook. It's not provided in the course, all right? Um, you either, you purchase this textbook, either a hard copy or a digital copy. Please do not email me and say, oh, I don't have the textbook, what can I do? Oh, you know, it's not going to get here for a while. Like, that's on you. This is college. You got to figure all that out. Okay. You got to do – if we have readings listed, if um, you don't have the textbook, but we're supposed to – you're supposed to read as a uh, – well, that's a PDF. That's a PDF. Uh, okay, cat person. Cat person is in, is in your book. If you don't have a textbook to read this short story, guess what? Google it. Okay. Uh, the Ecstasy of Consent. Uh, this is in your textbook. Oh, I need to put what, what page that it, that is. Anyways, if you don't have a textbook, Google it. Read it online, okay? The ones who walk away from uh, Amelis, this is in your textbook. If you don't have a textbook, guess what? Google it. <laughs> Read it online, okay? College is about either having what you need or figuring it out. So I don't want any emails about like, oh, I don't have the, I don't have it. Can I be exempted or... Can you send it to me? Nope. Nope. You either have the textbook or you don't. Um, I had plenty of literature courses where I didn't have the textbook. I just looked online for all this stuff. Okay. And then the ones I couldn't find online, I sucked it up and, and just accepted the fact that I couldn't read it. It is what it is. Okay. So um, make sure that uh, ideally you have a textbook. Uh, you have, let's see here, 75% of your entire grade is... Um, I'm sorry, 80% of your entire grade in this class is, is three essays. Three essays constitute 80% of your grade, all right? Um, uh, I don't care if you have late work. Uh, if you if, if you miss an assignment and you get a zero, then uh, you can turn in late for 70. Do not cry to me about it. Don't ask if you can get extensions. I'm not, I'm not giving extensions. The extension is a 70, <laughs> okay? If you can't complete your work on time, just accept the fact that you'll get a 70. And guess what? These 11 classroom assignments are each worth 2%. 2%. Um, and so if you miss an assignment because uh, something happened unexpectedly, oh, well, that's that's two points off your final grade, your total final grade. It happens. Turn the other 10 in. Make sure you get them done on, on time, okay? Please do not email me asking for extensions or leniency, or if I can accept your late work, blah, 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 blah. No, here it is. You turn in your work by the time I grade it. I, I do not care. Let's say that the work was due on a Monday and I don't grade it till Friday. 
I don't care if you turned it in on Wednesday or Thursday. I don't care if it's technically late. Your work is not late until I go to grade your work. And you will know if I've graded the work or not. Because once I grade work, I put in the grades. And once I'm done, I put in zeros. Okay? I put in zeros. So if you have a zero for an assignment that you did not turn in, you know that now it's late. If it's if, the, if it was due on Monday and it's Wednesday now and I have there's no zero, that means I haven't graded it yet, which means that if you still turn it in, it's not late. OK, so, you know, I, 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 I don't want emails asking, like, oh, can, you know, can I please turn in late? Just do it. Just turn in late and, and either accept the fact that you might get a 70 because I've already graded it or it might be fine and you get a 100 because I, have, I haven't even started grading it yet. OK. So that's my late work policy. I will take late work because I don't want emails begging for uh, begging for leniency or begging for uh, um, permission. Okay, just this is it. This this is the deal. Uh, it's it, it's not late until I go to grade it. It's not late till you get a zero. Once you get a zero, the highest grade you can get is a seventy. Okay, which means that you you could you could turn in every single assignment in this class late and still make a C in the class. <laughs> okay, you could turn in every single assignment uh, after you got into zero and still get a C in the class. So there you go. All right. But if you want an A in the class, you need to not only turn in good work, but it needs to be on time. All right. So that's that. Um, read through all that stuff again to make sure that you understand and email me any questions you have. Okay, um, where has the time gone? Good God. Let's go back. Lessons one. All right, so some things I need to discuss with you. Uh, first off, you have a welcome quiz. Uh, you have to do this first. If you do not take this, uh, then you'll be dropped from the class, which is annoying. You can be, always be reinstated, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an annoying process. You have to do this assignment this week. I have to report no shows uh, essentially Sunday night, okay? So please, 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 please do this first. It's, it's very simple. You just go in and you click like you, you read the syllabus. That's all you got to do. All right. So you got to make sure that you uh, do this. MLA formatting and documentation quiz. Uh, these assignments, I think, are locked until you take this. Uh, they want to make sure that you know MLA formatting very well. You're supposed to have learned it at 1101. Okay. So you got to take this quiz. Um, you can take it multiple times if you fail it. I have all the city guide questions right here. If you open up this document right here, then uh, you will have all the questions for the quiz that are on the quiz. Answers aren't there, but like you can do a couple of things. One, you could uh, try to answer all these right now, or you could take the quiz, okay, and uh, Answer, and then I think it shows you the ones that you got wrong, okay? And then the ones you got wrong, you can highlight those ones that you got wrong and then go research those questions and then retake the quiz until you get uh, the, the grade you want, okay? So you need to do that uh, second. Assignment one, welcome quiz. Assignment two, MLA formatting and documentation quiz. The school requires you to do this. They wrote this quiz themselves, okay? So you need to do it. Here are the questions, take the quiz, okay? All right, assignment three. Uh, because this class relies heavily on you using outside research in all of your papers, um, I don't know who what your 1101 teachers were like, uh, but like in 1101, uh, sometimes people don't use uh, sources until their third essay. For my class, I had them having writing uh, using sources in essay two and essay three. So uh, in this class, though, every essay has to be you have to use sources. Um, so this assignment helps you get kind of dive into the um, researching process. OK, uh, I'm going to click on this, too. I made this like way too. I, I mean, I guess I didn't really control this uh, size, but whatever. OK, so for this assignment. You are going to uh, find three articles that deal with identity. Our, uh, unit one, the stories that we read, deal with the way people see themselves. 
in the way that maybe the world sees them and then trying to understand themselves. All right. So you are going to uh, find three articles that deal with identity and the identity, you know, topics can be existential. It can be gender. It can be sexual. It can be about like, you know, my, you know, breakfast club style identity. Uh, are you a criminal? Are you a geek? Are you, are you a, uh, are you a jock? Are you a freak? Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, maybe you're a deadhead and you want to talk about like deadhead identity and culture, whatever. Um, here are some examples. Um, adolescents create their own identities separate from their parents. So like you can find an article about how do teenagers sort of define themselves um, outside of the shadow of their parents. Uh, realization of sexual identity um how identity can conflict with social expectations uh goth identity uh, how surroundings can like impact how we create our identity or how we identify ourselves okay it's pretty open i just want the topics to be around the idea of identity or, or how like identity you know may find an article about how identity is overblown like who cares who cares we're making too big of a deal about this idea of the way that like we see ourselves. Maybe we are too self-conscious and we need to kind of like get over that. Okay. That sounds like my mom. <laughs> okay. So three articles that deal with the topic of identity, pros, cons, you know, creation, whatever, impacts, sources, whatever. Okay. You are going to find three articles from three different sources, and they need to be from reliable sources. Uh, you might have books. Maybe you have some philosophy books, some psychology books. Some um, and I'm a parent, and so I have a lot of like, I have a lot of like parenting books about like kids, and 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 I'm a teacher, so I have ones about students and their and and like their their development and the development of of their brains and the way that they see themselves and you know defining themselves and blah 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 so maybe you have a book uh you can use galileo which i think is a lot of like our traditional ways um but you can also use which is what i like is more contemporary research that looks at uh publications like the new york times vulture the atlantic slate the guardian the economist forbes the washington times psychology today and new york magazine these are all reliable sources that have good editorials um about uh, a variety of different topics and i know that they all have articles that deal with identity okay so you can do google searches of like uh uh realization of sexual identity in the atlantic uh in the guardian in slate and come up with three different ones. I'm going to go more into doing some research stuff, uh, but I'm kind of just curious about where y'all are already. So I kind of just want to throw this out to you to do and see um, how y'all do, okay? Um, what we're going to do is you are going to open this document, okay? So this is what it's going to look like. You are going to have your, you're going to have your uh, proper heading, which I guess that for this, this is 15 and this is actually January, 2024. Okay. And what you're going to do is you are going to have your three sources. Uh, oh, do not number them. You're going to have your three sources in alphabetical order. Okay. Your three sources source source okay and um then you are going to provide a summary of what that article is about you are going to summarize the article okay um so like this this is not about identity but let's just say this this article men have been promoted three three times more than women during the pandemic study finds Okay, so you have the article and then you summarize what was discussed in that article. Michelle Fox discusses how blah, 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 blah. Monaria Gunja's article is about how blah, 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 blah. Grace Jennings writes about blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you need to read the actual articles. 
Um, now, your citations. I provided here for you this link, tutoring and easy bib. I will talk more about tutoring later, but for easy, you can use easy bib for your citations. Okay. Uh, you go through the model of, of create citations and um, you, uh, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. You go website, choose your source website. And this is a free website. Uh, uh, um, so, uh, resource. So there's a lot of ads and stuff. Okay. But um, you post the URL. So let's say you find, let's say you found a article by the guardian. Okay. Um, understanding gender identity, uh, the Atlantic. Okay. Um, So, um, okay, maybe what, what what readers really think about gender, okay? Let's just say you find this article, you read it, you don't have to agree with it, you can just find it interesting. Um, you take the, take the URL and copy it. Go to EasyBib, put it here, you paste it. You do search, it pops up, you hit site, uh, go to continue. It's going to have you watch a video probably in a moment. Okay. Complete citation. Oh, good. Didn't make me do it. And there it is. You hit copy. You go to, you can use this uh, this page that I have set up for you already, this example. You can highlight here, put it in. It needs to be double spaced. So you can just highlight it and go to paragraph. Go to double, this should be zero. Okay, there it is. And then you talk about you replace this author with Connor. Connor Friedersdorf Friedersdorf <laughs> discusses how, and then you summarize it. And then summarize the, the source. Okay. Find three sources on three different issues dealing with. Um, identity. You can do something like um, adolescent identity development um, psychology today. Okay. Who I am, psychology today. Cool. All right. As young people to her. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Identity in adolescence. You can, maybe you read this, and you like what this what this says. Cool, you like it. Take it, copy it. Go to Easy Bib, create citation. Same thing. Website. Paste it. It will. Uh, it will find it. Site. It's all the same thing. Continue. And then now with this one right here, though, if you notice, this doesn't have the first name or last name. So all you do is go over here and says, look, it's Stephen Gray Wallace. That's it. So S Stephen Gray Wallace. Complete citation. You view the sponsored message, it's free, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you copy and paste the citation into your into your document, okay? And then now you have your second one. 
And so then you just do it then a third time. All right. And you summarize it. That's all you got to do. Do not overthink this assignment. You're finding three, three documents. I mean, three sources that deal with uh, identity. It's all you got to do. All right. Cite them. Use easy bib and summarize them. Okay. That's it. That's all you got to do. And then you submit it here. Boom. The final thing is independent novels to read. For essay three, essay three, the very last essay for this for this class, you are going to be uh, having to, to write about a book that you read that was adapted into a film or miniseries. So you got to find a book now to read that has been adapted so that way you can read it and then watch it and then write a paper about them. Okay. You will have to pick a book that has been adapted into a film or TV series, miniseries to write an analytical essay, the last essay of the semester. Here I've, I've provided some, uh, I think some good ones for you. Uh, Leave the World Behind. I read that book and I watched the film. Great book. Didn't like the movie. Uh, Fellow Travelers. I haven't actually read this one, but I've heard that it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, Eileen, same thing with that one. All things cease to appear. I read, I loved, I, man, whew, this was fantastic. This is so good. I love this book and I enjoyed the movie too. They are different though. Uh, the, on Netflix, this movie is called Things Heard and Seen. That's great. Station Eleven, uh, the book and then the miniseries is on Max. A Clockwork Orange, it's a classic. Uh, and the film um, is also available on like Amazon Prime. American Sniper. Now, listen, this, this is what's important here. You ready? Not looking for films that replicate the book, but rather make changes that alter themes and characters, changing the understanding of the text. Okay? We, I am not looking for exact replications. That is actually going to be a very bad paper. I want, I want books that are, their adaptations are different. Are different. Okay? So... Almost. Um, so you cannot pick No Country for Old Men, American Psycho, or Cold Mountain because these are these films are too accurately produced, and no books like Twilight, Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Percy Jackson's, and so forth. Okay, you can always just do a search like "Is the Light We Cannot See a Good Adaptation," and it will tell you. Unfortunately, it's not a good adaptation, which means great. That's a good one to do. Read the book and then watch the show. Okay. Um, if it comes up, um, is No Country for Old Men a good adaptation? It says here, consider it to be the best book to film adaptation. If it's so good, don't do it. I don't want that. We don't want that. Rosemary's Baby? No. It was too good. It needs to be a bad or different adaptation. Okay. All right, so start thinking that over. Um, there will be, uh, I'll talk more about that next week as well. All right. Um, if y'all have any questions, I got to get going. Class is starting soon. Um, if you have any questions, email me. Let me know. All right, y'all. Take it easy.